Nice work, man. All right, double snook action. Gotta love that. He's on that. Oh, there's one following it. Let's see if we can double. Dude, that's... Yeah, I see it. I see it. You're right. Let's see. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, he got him. I got him. <laughs> yes. Hey, this is Lou with Salt Strong doing some exploration fishing in Sarasota, Florida. We've got insider member Tony Prescott. He's not from around here. I'm not from around here. I've been here once before. It was like three years ago. This is Tony's first time. You know, we're going to do some exploring. Uh, I'm actually about to run on the sandbar right now. Let me trim up the motor. But we're going to be checking out some spots that look just like the type of areas I've been fishing in Tampa that's been holding some good redfish and snook, and, as well as some trout. And so we're going to hit that up. Just try some spots and it will let you know how we do. All artificial as normal. We're going to get out there, see what we can catch. Sun's about to rise, so time to get out to spot number one. All right, so spot number one. About to make the, ooh, there's some little, little big on her. Saw some birds up here on this shoreline. This is the area that I, that I saw on the map that, that wanted to hit it first. Nice to see some birds up there. Got some white pelicans showing up for the winter. Tony's on top water. I'm with Bomber. Let's see if we can get some action going. First fish is always the toughest. Oh man, big red fish just followed me up. Dang. All right, we got some fish around. That was a look at the size of that swirl. That was a very big fish. All right, so this is the cast of the first fish caught for the day, and this was just seven minutes into the trip. And just another example of the fact that, that just knowing the, the feeding trends and knowing how to read online maps is incredibly powerful. You can go to new areas without live bait and get in some fast action, very similar to the prior trip. So here is the first there fish. There Oh, a nice trout. All right, that's, I, think it's, I think it's a small snook. Good God. Not a giant, but we'll take it. We are on the board. Slam Shady Bomber. Trusty for getting, getting the strike. Oh, nice fish. Oh my gosh, did he eat it? It's a red. Oh, you got him, you got him. Oh no, that's, that's a snook. Good. That's a nice that's a snook. snook. How awesome. Oh my gosh, he is not very happy. <laughs> How awesome. Sun's coming up. Nice snook on the top water. Man, you gotta love that. Heck yeah. Nice work, man. And he's off. <laughs> on Dude. the board. How many is that? Five for five? Yeah, might, might as well get on the board right away. <laughs> gotta love that. So this was just a few minutes later, hooked into another snook and hammered. was just really happy oh, about snook. getting into some fun fish catching action. The aerobatic little guy. So he's got me hooked. I can feel my line rubbing on his oh, lip. So, yeah, for that reason, I use this uh, this beefed up tip there, where it's 30 pound test. That way, they, they can't chew through the line. So after letting that snook go, we fished for about 15 more minutes, and Tony started casting out a little bit away from the shoreline, and he hooked up with the second of our slam oh, species. Oh yeah, it's there you are, it's a trout. All right. All right. Two thirds of the slam done. Solid trout. Ah, oh. oh, got you wet. You got me. <laughs> After releasing that trout, the very next cast, Tony did it again. Cast it out there and got another trout. So the trout are holding a little bit deeper. Snook and reds up in the shallows as normal. So a few minutes later, Tony had a hot hand and got this little snook shortly before we moved to spot number two. All right, so we just finished up spot number one. It was a good a good spot. We caught, uh, caught some snook, we got some trout. We saw some redfish, we didn't get the redfish. So we're gonna go to spot number two. Um, Tony's up front, we have some really shallow water here. So when you're going over shallow flats, always make sure to, that anybody in the boat gets up front. That lifts the motor up. Make sure that we uh, we protect the seagrass. So we're going to spot number two, the second spot we identified in the pre-trip plan. Just looking at uh, at all nine maps. And let's see if we can get that redfish. All right, so spot number two is looking good. We've got a bunch of birds out right where I was hoping they'd be. And the water's looking clear. We might get some sight fishing in. Whew, looking promising. Yeah, look great, let's catch some fish. All right, so this was exactly two minutes after going to spot number two, hooked into the first fish. This ended up being a nice snook. Again, another example of how effective and powerful getting good at reading maps and knowing the feeding trends can be 
when exploring new spots. Oh man, nice snook. <laughs> nice, hit it right underneath. Hit it right at the boat. Oh, there goes another one too. I watch him come up and eat it. That's a killer, solid fish too. And as I was fighting my fish, Tony hooks up for our second double, double of the trip. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> You have the, the Slam Shady Bomber Double. All right, double snook action, gotta love that. So just three minutes after releasing those fish, here comes the next catch. And again, it was on the Slam Shady Bomber, rigged on a weighted hook. Got a hit. I got something on. We got ourselves a good spot. Fun size snook. Get him back. In just three minutes after releasing the prior snook, here comes the next catch. Oh, there we are. Another, another snook. Nice little windy day, so the bite is extending. Let this guy go. Just a few casts later, we hook into another double. Oh, there we are. Double. <laughs> double. Oh, mine just came off. So we fished this area for another hour or so, and it was really fun. The, the snook bite was on fire, but we didn't get a redfish still, and it was bugging me. I had one redfish follow and, and just and strike at the last second. It was a small one, but I went to this third spot. So this is a spot that I found on the online maps. Again, very similar to the types of spots that's been holding redfish lately. And so we buzzed the area for a while and finally found a zone with some redfish. Ooh, there's a nice red. All right. Ooh. Yeah. All right, we're in the reds. And so about five minutes after seeing that first redfish, Tony hooks up and we have a really cool double. Nice. You up? Oh yeah. I think that might be it, brother. That should be the red. Oh, it looked copper. We uh, just got up on this flat and started buzzing. We covered a lot of ground and started seeing them slowed down and Tony is on that. Oh, there's one following it. Let's see if we can double. Dude, that's... Yeah, I see him. I see you're right. Let's see. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, he got him. I got him. <laughs> yes. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, we went from no reds at all to doubled up. <laughs> so here's the pick of the double. So whenever you see a fish following a fish that's hooked, make sure to get a cast in there because there's a very high chance it'll come up and smack it. This is definitely the exact type of spot to look for. All right, so this was just us just cruising down the shoreline, going very quietly. And this is an example of you just never know when some fish are gonna pop up. I was kind of scanning the shoreline left, right, and some reds popped up right in front of me. Ooh, reds, look at these reds looking at me. Uh, can you cast? Are you, do you, look at these three reds right here. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, those are some oh. Yeah, it makes for a cool siding. It's really tough to get those redfish to hit that close in clear water. In Florida, they just get pressured heavily, but sure as need, and uh, shortly after, get into some more snook. Is that a baby? I think it's a snook. Oh, hello. The angry snook. Come on there, buddy. All right. There, got him. Bomber out. Nice snook. I was just re-rigging from uh, my last snook, and now Tony gets... That's a, that's a solid one. That's a decent snook, yeah. It's a jumper. My leader's getting awfully short. <laughs> nice work there, man. So we kept going down that shoreline and got another cool opportunity to get a close quarters redfish. Here it is. Oh, there's a red right here. Oh, that's a red. Well, if it stays, if it stays, I'm going to get them. Those are jacks. Those are jacks. Let's uh, see if this redfish, my, my lure's coming, lure's coming, see it, see it, see it. Oh, oh my gosh, it almost ate it right there. <laughs> so it was getting close to lunchtime and I still didn't have a trout on the board. So we picked up a little bit early and wanted to try one last spot to complete my slam. And here's what happened. Something. Oh, oh, that was my trout. Oh, oh yeah, that was a nice trout. So super bummed that I missed my trout opportunity, but had a second chance shortly after. There we are. Got him? Uh, this might be the trout. Oh, yep. Yeah. I think it is. Time to lock in the slam if I can just keep him hooked. 
Alright, and we've got a leader touch. There we are. Completed the double slam. I switched over to the leprechaun. This just has better darty motion. This water's crystal clear. And uh finally got on the board. Oh it puffered. <laughs> yep. That'll still work. So we had a little bit more time to spare. We were actually trying to get a double trout to have a triple double. We're doubled up on all three species. I uh, had a couple, couple more singles, never got the triple double, but sure was fun. All right, so we just got the boat back and it's almost one o'clock. So stayed longer than normal, but had an awesome trip. Tony, <laughs> Tony here was first to get the slam. I had to bail myself out by making that one last stop for the, for the trout, but that was just a good testament that you don't have to to have live bait. You don't even have to go to spots over and over again that you know, all these spots we've never been to before. Actually, I lie, I went to the first spot before. I've been there once and that was three years ago. Um, and you really don't have to have a ton of lures. Today, we pretty much caught everything on the bomber. Just saw the Slam Shady bomber on a weighted hook. Tony, you caught the first snook on the, on the spook, on, on the, the, moonwalker. the moonwalker. Yeah. So that's the normal thing, top water in the morning. And then after that, these paddle tails in the fall, these big paddle tails are really hard to beat. They catch everything as you saw. But the most important thing is knowing where to go. And so if you're not yet an Insider Club member, make sure to give it a try. And for those Insider members, I'll put a link below that shows where every fish was caught. That way you can, you can see exactly where we were, what the tide was doing, what the wind was doing, and look for the exact type of spots near you. So click down below for that. If you have any questions about this trip, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to saltwater, just know that we're the best online fishing club for inshore saltwater anglers, especially if you're going after redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it. We actually guarantee you'll be catching more fish while saving time and money. And we do that through our premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle we need. To learn more, go to saltwater.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.